In this video, we are going to study about network topologies. So, let's see what a network topology is. The way in which devices are interconnected to form the computer network is called a topology. So, say you are having lots of devices on your network, computers, laptops, servers, printers or fax machines. So, the way they are organized in the whole office or area wherever you are setting up the network and then they are connected to the main cable of the network is called a network topology. So, there are some factors that we need to consider while we are setting up the topologies. These, some of these factors are like cost, flexibility, reliability, scalability, ease of installation and maintenance. Cost is always the foremost concern when we are setting up a network. Why? Because the length of the cable, the difference between the server and other nodes, that determines what the cost of the overall network would be. Then flexibility. When you are setting up a network, you should always keep in mind that you might need to reconfigure. Suppose you want your, right now your printer is here and then maybe after a couple of months you feel that the printer is required somewhere else, then in that case it should be flexible enough. The network should be flexible enough that you can move that printer or any other piece of network device without affecting the network even for a single day or even a single hour or a single moment. Together with flexibility, it should be scalable also. Suppose currently you have 10, 12, 20 uh, devices attached to the network, but suppose your office expands, you take on more people, you need to add more workstations. In that case, the performance of the computer network should not be hampered. The speed should not go down and otherwise it should function as it is with the new workstations that have been added. Then at last, we should take in mind that it should be very easy to install as well as maintain. Installation there could be installed by people who are easily trained. Then again troubleshooting, finding out what the problem is, that should also be very easy. So in this video, we have understood what network topology is and how we should keep different factors in mind when we are setting up the network. In our next video, we will discuss about the bus network topology.